2018, fall of 2018, the district passed a bond measure. The original team created our mission and vision statements. We got to um, meet with community members. Um, and so we're going into our fifth year now. Uh, we got hit in the middle of that by COVID though. So our first year was distance learning and it was online and it looked very different than any of us had planned. I am predominantly an English teacher, but to work in this lab, I had relearned math. I got to learn some manufacturing with Anderson. And yeah, we teach it all. So we support students in any way we can. So here's our shop. This is where students spend another, a third of their time. Um, right here we have virtual welders. So we have our kids welding by the end of, well, they're welding now, but by the end of the year, they're welding projects. But we start them off from the VR welders. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. They get to bend metal, cut metal, build robots in here. And so about a month ago, we launched these rockets. So the kids didn't have any plans. They just backwards engineered everything. We put engines in them and then about a month ago, we launched them into the air. Everything you see um, was kind of our idea to have students work in projects where they create a real sandbox business. This is what's cool. It's always adapting, changing. Two years ago, just as, as early as two years ago, the students were making pretend businesses. They had a robot that cleans your room, a pen pencil that you push the eraser and it started recording, right? Pretend. Last year was our first, we wanted to keep building the project and improving it. Last year was the first time that students made real physical pro product. Part of our big goal here is we're a, we're a production-based class. Um, so my main goal is to give them all of the tools and then hopefully in our combination with English and history, also teach them what they can tell stories about. Um, so really trying to hone their own voice and their own narrative and just using the tools to really guide them into that place. Robots are sadly, believe it or not, Robots are very dumb. They are the dumbest thing on the face of the world. We actually have to go through and we have to communicate with them in the most basic ways possible. So the first way that we have to actually make sure that we can communicate, I need you guys to find the brain button. And then what do you think I'm gonna click here? I'm gonna click connect. Programming robots so we could control it without a controller. They like building and designing things. And this is why it was like one of the classes that like offered those sets. It's basically like robotics and they program things like this and they do competitions like out of states and they are back to back, I think, world champions, I believe. So yeah. We also get to weld and um, it's pretty cool. And later we're making like actual robots, so. So uh, the types of gears that we'll be using for our VEX kits, the two types are input gears and output gears. You guys are gonna be hearing this a lot in this presentation about gears and gear ratios. So what is an input gear? Paul just asked. Well, I'm gonna tell you, an input gear is the drive gear. In the ag agriculture class, and we're gonna be building uh, roller coasters. Uh, we go out to the shop, we've been woodworking, we've built, uh, we've planted plants, we, uh, we've been learning about Newton's laws and his argument for the uh, essays for English. This class is public safety and we work with law enforcement, so the FBI, CIA, um, local police departments, fire departments, uh, and sometimes even in the medical field. There's also three types of fingerprint evidence. Okay, three types of fingerprint evidence. There's physical, where we're touching gum, right? So what's the other one? Latent, and the last one? Patent, good. Now, right now we're working on uh, uh, patent prints, which are, are prints that are invisible to the naked eye unless a powder is put on them. Um, so, in general, we do our ELA 8 standards, but we do it through a lens of public safety, um, as well as touching base with the History 8 standard. So, for instance, right now we're working on our narrative, like literature unit. And so we are doing the story currently, finishing up with the Telltale Heart. And then we're going to be talking about uh, character study and character development using insanity and sanity um, for the, the legal to hit. <laughs>